number 42, Charlie Taylor. In 13 seasons, he became football's all-time leading receiver. He went to the Pro Bowl eight times and entered the big one, the Hall of Fame, in 1984. His credentials were impressive. Rookie of the Year in 64, he caught 50 or more passes a season different times. Art Monk, number 81, a Redskins monk. He started his career by breaking Charlie's rookie receiver record. He had a 23-game streak of catching at least one pass, and in 1981, his 894 yards and receptions was the most by a Redskin in 14 years. The comparisons to Charlie Taylor were inevitable, and Art doesn't mind a bit. We're both about the same size, uh, both receivers. Um, he's, he, I consider him a much better blocker than I am. Um, Charlie is known for really coming down and, and putting the, the leather to some linebackers and so forth. And I think I block pretty well, but I don't think I do quite as good a job as, as he does. But as far as catching the ball and running with this is concerned, I'm feeling pretty close to him. I think Art's a complete player. There's no doubt about that. Uh, the man works very hard. He's very knowledgeable of the game, and he's learning every day. Uh, I'm just proud of the guy. He goes out and gives you everything he has, and uh, never, you know, it's never a uh, whimper about anything. He just goes out and does what we ask him to do, and uh, the whole staff is proud of him. Heisman, straight drop. Sets up, fires it deep, going for Moko to fly, near side, five, cut the ball, out of bounds at the three, first and goal, Redskins. What about it? Do you see a little of you in him? Oh, I see a lot of Art Monk. I see a whole lot of Art Monk. I, I do sort of mm, fantasize a little bit sometimes when he's doing this thing out there, but it's totally Art Monk doing it. Have you and he talked about the comparisons or how you should handle it? No, we haven't. We've never even, uh, even thought about it. We just... You know, we have a good time in meetings, and even out here in practice, um, it's a loose atmosphere. We joke around, and we have fun, and but we still learn. He still teaches us, and um, we learn a lot from him. But uh, the comparison has really never come up. The low point in Art Monk's career came in 1982. The Redskins drove to Super Bowl 17, but Monk stood helpless on the sidelines, injured. This is a sign of a pro. I mean, a man, but a pro. Uh, the man was knocked out during the, the first uh, Super Bowl. He, he didn't let that affect him that much. He made up his mind, I'm going to be ready for the next year. Worked hard, got himself ready to go, and he came back and played one of the great games. Uh, it had to bother him a little bit not being there. You know, since he loves the game as much as he does. Uh, this year he made up his mind he wants to be all pro. And I love it, you know, because the man is playing that caliber football. And I think he'll continue the rest of the season. This year, year has really been very exciting for me. I really enjoyed it. I really have a lot of fun playing this year. And uh, it's really been surprising to me that I've done as well as I have. Are you a little harder on him because maybe you expect more? Not really. I think Art is hard on himself because he wants to do well. And I want him to do well, along with Charlie and Calvin and Virgil and the rest of the players. But uh, Art is hard on himself. Uh, he goes in practice and uh, you can't tell him he can't do things because he feels like he can do everything. And he does most of the time. It would be enough if Art Monk was just good at catching the ball, but like his famous predecessor, he's a devastating runner after he makes the catch. Well, when I first go into a game, it's more of just, you know, running a good padding, uh, doing my job the best I can, trying to get open. Um, every once in a while, you know, a cornerback will come up to me and, and uh, you know, state a few words that might get me ticked off or do something to me that might get me a little mad. Then it becomes a confrontation where I try to go after him, especially on a running play, to try to block him to try to knock his head off sometimes. I always know to myself that I've always had to take bullies to do what I've, I've done. It's just a matter of um, other people really having the confidence in me to, you know, to do the same. Here's Seisman back to pass. That split was on. Got it off the muck. Near side 20. He's to the 15. Bulls his way down to the 13-yard line. First down, Redskins. The first thing Art did when he got here was go out and match cars. Ironically, he did, yes. Match cars? Yes. Matter of fact, we're driving the same type of cars right now. Wonder why? I haven't the slightest. I think it was just a uh, matter of he got a good deal, I guess. Lee <laughs> Brown, 10 years later. It says here that Art Monk has 82 receptions this year. That's number one in the National Football League. And if he keeps going at this pace, starting with tonight's game here in Minnesota, He's going to break the old National Football League record set 20 years ago. Back in 1984, he caught over 100 balls. Nobody did that back then. Back is Theismann. Straight drop. Steps up. Fires it down the far side. He's got it complete. Come on. There's the record at the 30. He's down to the 20. Inside the 20 and out of bounds at the 17. Art Monk has just broken the National Football League record for receptions in a single season. And he says congratulations, Art. Right, Art is going to bring it to the sideline now. The players are all going out to greet him. That's 
a great tribute right there, Frank.